Hello, so you want to make a gear and I'm here to help. So, an easy way to do this is just by looking up Gear Maker Cat. If you go to the second one right here, this one's free and it can actually give you this gear. So what you want to do is scroll down a little bit. It should take a little bit to load, but here it actually is. So you may have heard of something called gear ratio before, and that's basically using the output and the input in order to change how fast some of the gears are going. So if I have one input going at three to one, one of the gears would be three times as fast as the other gear. So as one spins, the other one will spin three times as fast. Or as one spins, the other one will go three times as slow. So the way to do this is with the actual gears. So first you want to change the actual gear one pitch, or I'm sorry, gear one outer circle diameter and the gear two outer circle diameter in order to change for your actual size. So this is in millimeters, so you're going to have to do some conversions if you're not doing it in millimeters. But I'm just going to leave it blank for a test. So the actual gear ratio comes into play when you're talking about the tooth count, which is up here. So in order to do this, I'm going to be going for a 3 to 1 gear ratio, as that's what I'm used to. So let's first make these to 0 just to start off for a baseline. So let's say we want one of them to be 3 times as fast. So let's make gear 1 10 teeth. The teeth are these on the outside. So if we make this 10, the other one's 0, you're going to see... You're going to see 1 is 10, and you're going to see 1 is 30. That way, that will be three times as fast. Three times as fast. So you can see both of them right here. As this one spins, this one will spin three times as slow. As this one spins, this one will spin three times as fast. So we have the gears right here. As you can see, they'll interlock like teeth, and they will move together. You could also do this with other ways. If you want a four to one, you can make this 40, and it should update to 40. You could even make them smaller. If you want this one to have five teeth and this one to have ten teeth, it would be a two to one ratio, as you can see. Cool. So let's change this back to how we had it with ten and thirty. And let's take this. So we need to take this into CAD, but the issue is when these are both relatively complex in CAD standards, so we need to do them both separately. So what you can do is you can go to the Show Gears button, and you can hit Gear 1 up only. Anytime you make any changes, you have to hit Update. So once you hit Update, you can see that this is only Gear 1. So you can go down here to Download as DXF, and it should download, as you can see, right up there. I'm going to drag this off screen, so I can just drag it right back onto CAD. You should see it right here. So here is Gear 1. So the issue is this is 2D, and to actually import it into 3D, we need to turn it into 3D. So what we can do is we can go to 3D Basics right here, and we can change our view in order to look at it from a corner in order to sort of conceptualize what it's going to look like. We can change this into, instead of a 2D wireframe, conceptual is more easier to understand, and you hit the press pull button. You highlight in between these two, so both should turn blue. This is a bit laggy, so you're just going to drag this, and let's say this is going to be 4. So here we go. So in order to actually export this, we need to select this whole area. So as it's very slowly and laggily taking this whole area, hopefully. Sometimes it does freeze, so you could just double click and that should help. You can export this. You export it as another format and you could change it to whatever you like. I'm just going to name it Gear 1 for simplicity. So you can save this. So now when we go into Tinkercad, let me just drag this off screen. Sorry. You can take this into Tinkercad. So we can hit this import button right here, and we could choose a file from our computer. We're going to take that gear one example that I just put in. You'd put it into millimeters and inches, depending on what it is, and we'd import right here. This is going to be extremely large. I'm sorry, I thought it would be. It's actually right here. So you could actually change the size of this and make it bigger or smaller, depending on it. But in order to do that, you have to actually turn it into a 3D object in CAD itself. So we could do this for gear two as well. I'm not going to go through the whole process, but I'll go through the very beginning just to show you that you could do it for both. If I close out of the ad over here and I bring this back, we can change this into gear two only. 
from there, remember to hit update, download to DT, DXF. You'd import into it here, go to 3D Basics, press pull it, highlight the entire thing, then export as an STL. Go to export, other formats, STL, and then you'd import it into Tinkercad. They will be separate on Tinkercad because you did them separately, and from there you can commence with your 3D printing.